snack cake. What are you doing here? I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but, uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, uh, stick with me, because I'm going straight to the top, baby. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm going to have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louie Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you types do up there. You need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days uh, at the station. Stationarium, that was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids, no skating in the parking lot. <laughs> that was me. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand, errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me. Don't be so hasty to inflate your own worth. You've succeeded once. Very admirable. But in the grand scheme of it all, an infant's stride of progress. If you're looking to make a name for yourself, listen very carefully. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? 
good. But oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Or please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Give the Anarch community my regards. Give the Anarch community... Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. Lee. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! Baby girl, I saw you coming from down the street and I started praying to the Lord to find it in his heart to send you to me and hallelujah if he didn't come through for me. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Man. Man. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because there's more of me to love. Oh, man, you been feeding on the rock, girl? Nah, 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 baby, I don't sell none of that no more. Mm, you got some crazy eyes on you. Believe me, I don't have to see the freeze-dried ice cream to know a space cadet when I see one. Now, hold on a sec, baby girl. Fat Larry will take care of you. Let me tell you what I got. You like diamond rings? I got that. You got a neighbor with a baby? I got loud ass stereos. You live downtown? I got firearms and make the NRA nervous. Say now, Wonder Girl, seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? Wow, 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 uh, that's your business, okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for little actions all, all right? Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a super-sized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Grill style. Still with me? You 
here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out hard boy Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything?